Hi friends, this is Mary from On the, Behind the Computer. Um, I am a homeschooling mom to a second grader and a preschooler. The preschooler we're not doing as much with. Um, but this, I wanted to share with you something that has really worked well for my second grader. We did this last year and um, it was something really important that we wanted to continue um, this year. So this has been really good at sort of covering a lot of different areas for us. Um, first off, it's an incentive. I know running a store within a classroom is not a big deal, um, but it wasn't something that was really on my radar as a homeschooling mom of just one right now. <laughs> so I wanted to share this idea in case um, it may help someone else. So um, here's our price list. And what I do is um, I bought some special little toys and treats. Um, we got a stuffed classroom pet last year. So some of these things are applicable to that. Um, she can buy little treats for the stuffed classroom pet. That was a lot of fun for her. Some of them are things she can use, um, things like that. I don't, I try not to spend too much on these. Um, and the values here are kind of all made up. So I'll show you how she earns money in the classroom a little bit later. But um, here is our price list. I make these up based on like the value of what I think she'll have available. Again, we'll go over how she gets her money later. Um, but the passes are always the most <laughs> expensive because those um, mean the most to her. And it also is something that I don't want too many of those on the market. Um, but this is what we have in the store today. We call it the parakeet store because um, she picked a parakeet as our school mascot last year. Okay, so in the store today, we have a chore pass that allows her to skip her chores for one day. Um, we have some Play-Doh. We also have some Play-Doh down here. Um, a little peach. Uh, this is an eraser. That's for, <laughs> anything that's mini is usually for the uh, classroom pet, sweetie. Um, a tiny bunch of balloons. Sorry, the lighting's not that great in here, but um, a crayon eraser. Then down here we have, um, these are all mini brands. So this is an eraser, um, that's a little cake, but these here are mini brands. A mini brand shelf and a mini brand almond breeze. And then back there, um, a pass that allows for extra tech time. Both of those have to be pre-approved. So if we have something going on that day and that's just not going to work, um, we don't do that, but she is allowed to spend as much money as she has in her account. Um, so let me go over and show you how she earns her money. One of the reasons we started this last year is because she started learning about money last year. And I want her um, to kind of, to me, this covers a lot of, a lot of different um, topics. So an incentive, um, we all need to be congratulated for the hard work we do. This is an incentive. Um, budgeting for things that you want that may be more expensive or things that you may want down the road. Um, obviously math <laughs> um, and learning, uh, calculating how much she has, calculating what she wants to get, that sort of thing. And also um, just learning that we can't have it all all the time. Um, she learns that a little bit in the, the real world, <laughs> but um, it's always kind of good to have that here as well. So whenever we have the store open, she goes on her task list, which we have um, through Apple Reminders in Good Task on our iPads, um, and we count, count up how many different tasks she completed for that week. I don't have this open because I don't want you to see like all of our stuff on there, <laughs> but um, we, we have that open. And so last year, I think she earned like 10 cents um, for each one, and we had to do math that way. This year, I want her to learn how to add in different ways. So she gets five cents for every point, and she has a lot more tasks because she's older and going into an, a new um, grade. So last year, we just had worksheet, like work tickets that she had to fill out. This year, we're using actually, um, when my grandmother passed away, we found some old deposit, like, um, check registers that she never used <laughs> um, and I don't even know how old they were <laughs> so um, I thought this would be a good way for her to kind of keep track and even though uh, I don't know too many people who actually kind of use the old school bank register anymore <laughs> um, it's a it's a good thing to learn it's a good thing to learn and kind of see your money that way um, so we're working on that it also helps her handwriting when she has to write what she is getting um, and then we do a withdrawal and kind of the balance left and we actually do use cash um, she seems to prefer like play cash she seems to prefer it it was a lot of fun last year um, and I think it also kind of helps her visualize what she can buy with what money and what she has left over um, we may not do this in the future we may have like a, a credit card <laughs> I'm using that in quotations a credit card um, but for right now this is working really well so um, she puts in the number of points that she gets the date um, we do how much she's going to be depositing into the bank, then how much she's going to be withdrawing and how much of balance she has left over. 
and um, she can use that the next time we have the store open. So again, I know holding a store for uh, a class is not any big news thing. Um, it's something I did as a child, but it's something I didn't really picture homeschooling an only child, how that would work out, but it's been a lot of fun and a really fun activity that she looks forward to and that I look forward to as well. I love seeing what she's gonna pick out. So if this helps you in your homeschool, uh, please hit a thumbs up. Um, on this video. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you'd like to hear more of our homeschooling tips as they come up, please be sure to hit subscribe. We'll have more in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.